not a lot of people here, but it's very important. Because uh, we explained that in uh, Hatshepsut Temple, but guys, uh, you couldn't see the scene a lot there. Here it's been a bit destroyed a bit, but at least you still can see the, what I'm talking with you about. So, uh, the throne. Who's sitting on the throne here, guys? God, his name is Khunam. You remember the name of the owner of the Great Pyramid in Giza? Khufu. I said Khufu is just a shortcut from the full name. Egyptian name is Khnom Khwafui. God Khnam is protecting me. But he knows that he gets very long name. Most of the time he's in a shortcut called Khufu. Greek Kim call him, call him Kiaps or Shiaps. But you have to know Khufu. So Oh, Khnom, God Khnom is the God creating the humans out of the clay. We've seen that in Hatshepsut. Hardly you could not see the scene. No, here, God Khnom sitting on the clay wheel to start, like, you know, creating Emin Hatib the third and his car, his spirit. You see his arms, they start to creating them out of the clay. Wow. Is that exist also in uh, yes. in the Bible? Yes. You know, that's good. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that's why he started creating them from the clay. That's why I see his. What is the Pharaoh doing here? He's put his finger in the mouth. Still a baby, still sucking, sucking the finger. You know, that's why sign is creating them as a baby. Okay. Then the goddess hears. She starts to passing the ank which is a symbol of life. I mean, he creating them out of the clay, then the God so brought them to life by passing the ank. That's why this here, the divine birth of the, of the you know, Pharaoh, Amen Hatib the third from the God has been created, you know, out of the clay at the beginning with his God, his spirit. You see the relationship between the God Amun Ra and the mother, of, you know, Emin Hatib the third, to swim roof, I'm the son of the, of the God. So he is the Pharaoh, because as we said, it's not a full kingdom blood. That's why he created the Luxor temple for that cause, to improve, I'm the son of the God. Then comes the idea of the opet feast and created the Sphinx Ebony. And while already a lot of the Sphinxes doesn't have the names of, you know, Emin Hatib the third, because Ramses II, he have put his name on some of them. Later on, you know, uh, Banijim, he put his name on him. Later on, you know, even Nechtenepu. So in the 30th dynasty, he put his name on.